Alright, this is Cobb Modular Build Part 2. We're wiring the cobs now. One wire has to go to each cob in tandem. Start from the back corner, work to that one, work to that one, and then work to that one, and then the wire off that one will go to the driver. Make sure you take a pair of pliers when you're putting these in the holder and push them in there real good so they get a nice snug and tight fit. Before we put the magnifying lenses over the chipsets, we'll take the last wire that goes to the driver and we'll temporarily hook it up to make sure everything's running properly. Now we have the driver plugged in. Seems like everything's working properly. It should be getting, it just turned on so it's going to take a little while to warm up, but she should be getting at least 300 watts with the HLG 320 drivers. It's 305, so we're fine there. So now we can put the lens covers on. Now we got all the lenses over the chipsets, all the modules, all the wires going through. Now it's time to turn around and put it on its backside and hook up the drivers and the fans. Make sure you put some protection down, towels or something, so you don't scratch the new lenses. Alright, now we start on the wiring. The red and black wire coming out of the fan. You can use Wago connectors to connect them all together. You put three on one connector, three on the other, and then criss the wires, crisscross the wires from one Wago to the other. So all six are connected in tandem. And then one wire coming from the power supply into the ground and into the hot. The white on this one which is going to be the, the hot. Then we hook up the mean well driver. You could use another type of Wago connector. The blue is the hot coming out of the mean well drivers. That goes to the, to the red. That's going to go to your plug-in, your switch. And then the brown is the neutral, and that goes to the black. And then your green goes to the ground. Alright, but we got the hots to the, the switch, the, the driver to the switch, the fan driver to the switch. Everything seems to be on, the cobs are on. Before we go mounting it and putting everything into place, we'll make sure it works properly. Let's see if the switch turns everything off. Alright, everything seems to go off. Switch works fine. Everything comes on. Now we'll hook up the modules and put everything in place. Finish up. Alright, now we got everything running. The modules are all running. All six of them underneath there. The switches are all running. There's the potentimeter. That's the last thing that we got to do is, is solder the potentimeter in and put the switch in place and wire everything down, screw everything down in place. And that's what we're going to do now. All right, we made some holders out of 400 pound mono with crimps. Put four of those on so we could hang the light. The driver I use for this is a Meanwell GS60A12-P1J. It's 1.4 amps and it's a 60 watt max to run all these fans. So it'll run all your fans. I got six here now, but I'm going to probably put a fan on each module. I'm going to see what the heat is like when I run it. We're going to hang the light and I'm going to finish centering everything so it's, its weight distribution is correct. Now we got everything strapped down and wired. The plug in, on and off switch. You can go off. 
we have six modules and four cobs We're running 510 watts and she's still warming up I have six fans on here I'm probably gonna have to put one on each end and probably put one on each module that way I know it runs cool but we're gonna do a thermal test to see how how much heat builds up the other fans are blowing around it so it, it might be all right this light right here is about I don't know if it costs about seven hundred dollars or so in parts five hundred and ten watts she runs pretty quiet the next thing it's going to do is this is going to be bent so it keeps the light down on a footprint adjustable footprint and then we'll go from there thanks for watching brian sublime